matchups ahead, including here tonight at the Belterra Casino and Spa in Southern Indiana, where the crowds come from Louisville, Lexington, Cincinnati, and the surrounding area for a night at the fights. They're settling in right now for our main event. It's a showdown between unbeaten featherweights next, when Elio Rojas meets Johnny Edwards in a bout scheduled for 10 rounds. Nick Charles, ringside as always with my partner pal Steve Farhood, and we're ready for action in this ready. main event. Showdown of unbeaten featherweights. Let's go now to ring announcer Jim Gulliford. Ladies and gentlemen, again, we welcome you to the Belterra Resort Casino and Spa in Belterra, Indiana. It's Showbox, the new generation. Brought to you by Don King Productions in association with Showtime, Eponet Burns, and TND Boxing. This bout is sanctioned by the Indiana State Boxing Commission. Commissioner, Mr. William Kelsey. Chairman, Mr. Jacob Hall. The co-chairman, Mr. John McCain. And our director, Mr. Larry Harvey. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet our judges as appointed. Mr. Gary Merritt, Mr. Bill Page, and Mr. Nathan Palmer. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee in charge of the action, referee, Mr. Eric Fetzer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Showbox, main event of the evening. 10 rounds of professional boxing in the featherweight division. And first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing the blue and silver trunks, 
weighing in at 127 and three quarters pounds. He has a perfect boxing record of 11 wins, zero losses and seven wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Aiken, South Carolina, he is the undefeated NABA champion, ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Cortez Edwards. And now, we'll meet his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing the white trunks trimmed in black, weighing in at an even 128 pounds. He also with an unblemished boxing record of 18 wins, no losses, 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Hailing from Francisco de Marcos, Dominican Republican, now fighting out of Queens, New York, ladies and gentlemen, Helio the Kid Rojas. I'll give both fighters instructions already. You have any questions? Obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Wait, hold up, hold up. Right here is good. Right there is good. All right. Looking at the numbers, you see Edwards is vertically challenged, which is another way of saying he's short. <laughs> His reach is barely long enough to shake hands with Rojas, so you better find a way to get close and stay close. And the unified rules once again in effect in this main event. No standing eight or three knockdown rule. The referee Eric Fetzer was booed as you heard resoundingly and that was because he gave what the crowd thought was a quick hook in the off TV bout just before we went on the air. Be that as it may, he's the man in the middle now, a five-year veteran as we watched Johnny Edwards close the gap in a hurry and Steve, as you said, he has to. Elia Rojas is in the silver and black and here comes Johnny Edwards trying to faint his way in and that's the beautiful thing to watch. How will he get inside the back without of his head. getting Off the back of his head. Yeah, let's let's watch uh, and see how Rojas responds when Edwards steps in. And Re Edwards better be coming forward the whole fight because he's going to be quite a target if he's just standing there uh, with that reach. And already it's, it. it's Rojas wanting to go to the body but not fighting tall at all. He's really ducking down. And he's fighting like a five foot five guy at times, but he knows his style best. You see, Rojas, decent amount of fights. He's been busy for uh, someone who hey, turned pro punch. early in 04. Hey, step back. And Edwards, still pretty green. Rojas has learned recently, according to his corner and Lennox Blackmore, former title contender, is his chief trainer, that he's got to take his time. He just can't blow hey. over people and just win rounds. Johnny Edwards fighting like a man in a hurry. He's been down before. He was dropped by Eric Aiken, came back to win that fight. And he's been what he thought clipped with little shots and cuffed when he was dropped. So three times in his career. But Edwards really barreling in and trying to bruise Rojas with those hooks. And they're following up with a left hook. He caught Rojas flush and really woke him up and drove him back there with two jabs, Steve. Well, Edwards effective so far in trying to make it uncomfortable for Rojas. A little forearm to the throat. You know, that's all what you have to do. You see him there pushing Trick, off. Punch. Step back. But Absolutely. Step Nick back. Rojas, I mean, it's the first round, but Rojas' hand speed, very impressive. But I like, uh, I like Edwards as well in that sense. Talk again. There he is with that quick follow-up left hook. So he's getting Rojas' second and third tries. He's catching. Steve, could you reiterate what we talked about in terms of what Rojas uh, does that Edwards could capitalize on? When he throws a right hand from ring center, Rojas likes to jump back with his hands down. Thanks, fellas. It's going to take good timing because Rojas is quick, but... There's that right hand. He really did. He's standing there, and look, you can see that suddenly Edwards is hanging on, badly hurt. He's getting rocked by right hands, overhand rights, and here he comes back don't with punch, some punch. home run shots of his own, trying to drive Rojas off don't him. Punch. Wild left hand. Around, and the warning from the referee not to hit Edwards from behind. Sort of hard not to do that when you do a 180 spin the way Rojas did, or Edwards did. So Johnny Edwards will get out of this round, but he got caught cleanly. And he had his world rock here in the first round. Corner, he talked about what he has to do. I'll come forward, you know, trying to make a fight out of it. And from what I'm understanding, he's more of the boxer, so. 
I'll, I'll probably be chasing him down the majority of the first couple rounds. Defense and counter, all right? He still think he's the man. He's going to be coming at this guy. Good start for Edwards in this fight, committing big time to that left hook. And he rocked Rojas a little bit there, but later in the round, watch this combination. Good hands be good extension by Rojas. And that right hand made Edwards do a little funny dance there. Clearly hurt. Rojas, good job of not allowing Edwards to tie him up. So Rojas could add a little more punishment there. Boy, Stu, what I love so much is the way Rojas really, really cut it close and hit the mark there because it wasn't horrible defense from uh, Johnny Edwards, but there was just enough of that opening, and man, Rojas' hand speed and, and power as he blazed his way through and found the hole. See if Edwards can regroup. He's in the blue, and he was hurt in the first round. Rojas snapping the jab, backing up. Referee trying to stay very much on top of this fight. Now you, uh, you know, you can see, Nick, Edwards, Edwards is not the yeah. same fight. He's not punching anymore. He's not punching. He's tentative no coming in. Break, and, break, and, that's just, and that's just going to get him in big trouble. So Edwards stunned by that right hand down the middle. And there again, Rojas trying to end it break, early with on, that go, right break, off the jab. Edwards, some wild swings. He's in the blue, the shorter man. He takes a right cross and a left hand then upstairs from Rojas, who's putting punches together. And there, Edwards walks into a little left hook. Edwards trying to mug Rojas now, at least coming forward. He's got his legs under him again. He's squared up, and he's trying to chase Rojas down. Go, punch! Break! Let him go. Take a step back. Take a step back. Don't push against him. Come on now. Box! So, Edwards definitely showing a lot of heart. He's getting out skilled, it looks a little bit. Let it go, Leo. Let it go. By a lot step back, in this step back. fight. But... Come on now. Come on. Break, break. Hey, how's he going to break if you pull him towards you? Come on now. Let's go. Let's see if Rojas keeps his composure here. He's in with a little bit of a desperate fighter who's got physical limitations and wants to grab and make it ugly. Edwards just trying to walk in and pull his way in and do something once he's inside to win some exchanges. But he's just not jabbing his way in. He's not very elusive. And Rojas timed him perfectly there. Beautiful. I mean, Rojas is impressive, man. Just get that look. Look at the way his punches flow. You compare his punching to Devin Alexander. Devin has speed, but Rojas punches so much more fluidly. He just tripled up that jab, you're right. And at the right distance. Rojas trying a right hand, taken on the gloves by Edwards. Don't punch, Edwards. you're not punching, thank you. Fox. Lots of free shots from Rojas. Now inside is Johnny Edwards, but now he'll back off again. So another bad round for Edwards here in the second. I'm surprised he's still here, Nick. His eyes were glassy in that first round after he got hurt. Let it go, let it go. Great! Don't punch, don't punch. Left hook from Rojas to the body. There's that, he just whistled that right hand. Edwards walked into that left just before the bell. Sit up. Siéntate. ¿Cómo te sientes? Respira, papi, respira. Ah, respira, respira. Me siento bien. Respira. Lo hiciste bien este asalto, ¿viste? Lo hiciste muy bien este asalto. Helio, box. Helio, boxea. Be smart. Be, use your jabs. Inteligente. Use your jab, papi. He's coming with the left hook. Who's the boy? Use the jab. Pull left hook. Left hook, right hand. Siéntate bien sentadito. Gancho y derecha. Gancho y derecha. Right, there you go. Ahí, papá. And don't fight inside. You don't want inside. No He's using his head inside. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? Fight outside, box it. Box it, use your legs and box it. There you go. I went to Santo Domingo, compay. Well, as we hit the third, Steve, it was really clear that Elia Rojas, in that first round, just beautifully countered all the aggression Johnny Edwards had. So let's see if Edwards can regroup. And good advice from Lennox Blackmore. He's one of the best trainers in New York. Fought Aaron Pryor for a version of the junior welterweight title about 25 years ago, and 
gave Rojas good advice. Punch, Stay away from the inside punch, 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 punch. because, you know, that, that's obviously what Edwards wants, but it's a little easier said than done. Edwards will do whatever it takes, push, shove, punch, step forward to get inside. So they want Rojas, that left hand right uh, and right over the top. And he's doing a great job of it. And at times, Rojas with that lead right hand with the opening there. Let's go, let's go. Freak, freak. Well, Johnny Edwards in blue undeterred. He's really trying in this fight. Again, you can shake off the first round. It happens in title fights all the time. Yeah, yeah. So he could perhaps get get back into this fight, but he's definitely playing catch up here. The third of a scheduled ten rounder. These Don't are point. unbeaten Good fellow Let him go. Thanks, fellas. Excellent. Thank you. Good recovery by Edwards. One thing I'll never understand, Nick, when you're a short fighter, and Edwards is clearly a short fighter, why not dip and bottle him yep. more? You yes. Know, he, he's standing up too straight. Now there, now he fainted well. his way in. But he hasn't <laughs> been doing that at all. He's just waiting on Rojas, but not being able to counter. Thank you. Let him go. Thank you. Excellent. Rojas not embarrassed or hesitant to take a step back to keep the range, freak, to keep freak, the reach freak. advantage. No wrestling. No, no, like the lights clean. Come on. Is he swelling on the right corner freak. of uh, step back, step back, take a step, the take a right step. eye of uh, Johnny Edwards? Straight right hand again. Boy, Rojas turns that over. Beautiful. There it is again. So it's open all night for him, and he's content off, to not work off, off the jab get and off fire that right. Come on, now, come on. With that right hand Rojas through this round, it's the first time I've really clearly seen what I was talking about, where he throws the right and jumps back out. See, his hands drop after he throws that right hand. And he's sure head, standing fellas. there in front after it. There's that right hand left hook. Edwards trying to feint his way into the zone here, but now he's inside freak, freak. And holding on. Step back, step back, come on, go push. They want Edwards to stay on Rojas. You heard it. But he's got to be punching, Steve. He gets in close and does nothing. And this is not where he wants to be at the end of Rojas' shots. There's a good counter right from Edwards. Winding down the third round here in Southern Indiana. Two unbeaten featherweights, but it's been all Elio Rojas in silver and black. Don't wrestle. Step back. Step back. Come on now. Come on now. Stop. All right. I'm talking to you. Let me have this. Listen to me. You are losing this. You understand? Yes, sir. And the only way you're going to win it is you got to bite down and start throwing combinations. That's the name of the game. You got to throw combinations. Here, take this one. Yeah. Strong getting stronger. Don't work that body. Strong, strong getting stronger. Body, all right. In here, right in here. Come on, move that upper body and throw combinations. Let's get up. Let that blood come. Out. Get up. Steve Edwards came in here with a battle plan to force Rojas to adjust. He hasn't been able to take away any of Elia Rojas' aggression. Smart aggression by Rojas. Stepping back when needed. He started to zero in with that right hand. Stay off the back. Ah, do not punch. Stay off the back of his head, okay? That's the punch I watched this round. Elia Rojas' right hand. Yeah, I liked it from the beginning, actually. Don't punch. Don't punch. Don't punch. Don't punch. Don't punch. Come on. Edwards just has to throw more shots. He's walking in without punching. He gets stuck with the right hand. And now this is the range Rojas wants. Steve, every time Edwards is in front, inside, he just holds. Oh, walked into a combination. Nice hands from Rojas. Hammer, and that was a shot on the top of the head, back of the head. And it stunned Walker, uh, uh, Edwards again. It's going to happen when you got a fighter who's uh, as short as, as Edwards. Don't go punch. Don't punch. Let him go. Let him go. Boy. Johnny Edwards looks tired. Get off. 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 Get off.
And the gutty marine that he is, he's still coming forward. He's hanging. Walking into fire, right? He's hanging. But it's time for Rojas, uh, in fact, one of his corner men, we just heard it's time for Rojas to get him out of there, they think. Let's see if he can finish the job. Rojas avoids a shot, but unable to land with a counter left. Boy Edwards walking in, squared up, not punching there now, trying to close the gap. Pretty hard to. Oh, straight right hand from Rojas once, scorches him twice. Hands are low, though. Steve. Yeah, his hands are low, and it's as if Rojas just punches too fast. The, the one two comes so fast, the right hand comes so fast behind the left hand that it, it blinds uh, to what's coming next. Yeah, it blinds Edwards, and, and Edwards doesn't respond well. He's jumping in now when he does punch. His balance is pretty poor, and he's tired. So. Yeah, so he's fighting absolutely only in spurts. Holding more than punching, and certainly more than hitting, than landing. Inside a half minute in this fourth of a scheduled 10 rounder. These are unbeaten. Featherweights, we come to you from Southern Indiana. This is Showbox, our main event. Crisp combination from Rojas. He's able to reset, almost turn his back on Edwards, and with nothing coming back, he's able to reload easily. So another huge round for Elio Rojas. Hold up. Hold up. You're losing. You gotta, you gotta work your jabs too. Action from round four. I said, watch the right hand of Rojas. Edwards just lets his guard down there and pays the price. If he's not busy on the outside, Edwards, he's gonna get tagged repeatedly. There you see it again. One, two. That's why you lead with a jab before you throw the right hand. The jab is blinding Edwards. It's clear. That time, a little diversity in the attack, and Rojas leads with a right hand. Fight with both hands. It's happening his way. Here. Don't worry, this is round one, all right? Give me two deep breaths. Round one. And just go out after. Excuse me. That's one way to look at it. Tell him it's a six round fight, but man, I don't think he feels like this is round one, do you, Steve? No. Uh... Yeah, yeah, just to talk a little bit more about that jab from Rojas. It does blind, it does set up the right hand, and also, you know, just creates that kind of space that he wants. And Walker just unable to, to penetrate, get beyond that uh, jab without just launching in, and he's running into a right hand that way sometimes. So, Steve, I think if Rojas could shorten up inside a little bit, he could absolutely end this fight. Well, I think he needs to end the fight, Nick. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just being, Yeah, he's being impressive, but he's fighting a fighter who's been down three times, who he's totally controlling, we had hurt early and often, and, now and that guy's still here. Now he's starting to batter him regularity. Break, do not punch, don't punch, come on now. Keep it clean, focus, box. And punching on the break. Oh, there's a stiff right hand. Walk, uh, Edwards walks right into it. Edwards launches that looping left. And I agree, I think uh, Rojas is corner. Is anxious for him to put the finishing touches on this. Yeah, well, it's getting he's obviously point. outclassed this guy. Oh yeah, and he's uh, 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 there's, there's a huge difference in class while both are undefeated. So why not get him out of there? And with Walker, I mean, excuse me, with Edwards, I think we could both keep calling him Walker because it's right. Johnny, and we call him Johnny Walker. But uh, <laughs> with Edwards. He's, he really has landed a shot, an effective shot in several rounds. And I think that it makes, puts more pressure on Rojas to get him out of there. I agree. You know, uh, Edwards surviving on pure guts, not ability at this point. There he is walking, hands high, and Rojas just pot shotting him. There's the uppercut from Rojas. At this point, Edwards doesn't have the strength left to do what he has to do and make it uncomfortable for Rojas when he's inside. He's, you said he's holding, and he is holding. And he fired all his bullets in the first minute and a half. Yeah, he should never be holding on the inside. 
Steve uh, Ro Rojas. I, I, I can't call it a devastating puncher. He's uh, he, he's got good power in both hands, as I said. But could one shot like that have taken so so much of the stuffing out of a real tough guy in Johnny Edwards, where we haven't seen any anything? He hurt in that first round, Nick, but he's taken a lot of right hands since as well. Remember, he's walking right to Rojas. Bump once again. We try straight right, so left hooks to the head. Referee's all over this one. Right. Off his head. His head wouldn't be down there if he didn't push it. Let's go. Stop. Hey, stop playing, man. Put some boss sleep on his face. Soon. I got it, I got it. Set him back. Free. Stop playing with this guy. Stick to your plan. Stick to your plan. Jab, right hand. Keep him outside. Keep him outside. You gotta come with, You gotta move that. He's coming with his head to the summer. Come on, ref. Box this guy, you don't want to be hit. When you move in, punch him. Well, Steve, very different advice in the corner than what we would have. We want, we think Rojas should end it now. Lennox uh, Blackmore wants jab right hand and just box this guy and don't even try to slug and give him a shot, a chance to get lucky. And, and I don't like that work in the corner. Rojas getting instructions simultaneously from two different tournaments in two different languages. Is he supposed to have a prayer of absorbing that, that advice? Well, does he really need any advice? <laughs> yeah. No, he knows what he needs to do. He's backing up. He's trying to create punching room. What he needs to do is land the kind of right hand that ends this fight. Well, he's boxing now as Lennox Blackmore wanted him to. There's a straight right hand, a real quick right hand. He shortens it up beautifully. The left hook and now combination as Edwards just walking in the shots. Perhaps uh, Cello Betancourt is translating for Rojas. That's a possibility. Rojas speaks a tiny bit of English, not a lot. So maybe he doesn't understand Blackmore. That could be, and I, so I apologize to the corner. Rojas able to set up, able to hold, able to box when he wants to box. It's his show tonight, Steve. Step back, do not punch. Don't punch. Thanks, fellas. Steve, clearly, unless Edwards gets lucky, this is all Rojas wall to wall. We will talk about how that sets him up uh, later uh, and what we saw in this fight so far, just how good he really is. But right now, while he's in total command, will he jump in and really try to finish this? One thing you never like to happen if you're Rojas, he may lose the crowd a little bit here. You know, he's the, right, you're clearly right. the more skilled fighter, but but Edwards is still here. He's plucky. He's, you know, he's st still trying to get in Rojas' face walking forward. His effort is excellent. He's not effective, but his effort is there. And, uh, I don't think Rojas wants to lose the crowd. Though. Yeah, it's all about guts from uh, Edwards. And anybody who watches boxing, we have great boxing fans here, could see that Edwards doesn't have the class that Rojas does. He's got the heart. Well, that's the first time in quite a while that Edwards was making it real uncomfortable for Rojas inside. He landed a right, he got inside, kept moving his hands. Now it's Rojas doing the holding. Edwards launches himself, dives into the attack there. Second and presumably last win for Edwards right here. All right, you got that man. Look, fighting. You understand? Fighting. You can't box him. I'm on fighting. The side. I mean, it's just you got to get up and scream. And yell. Okay. You can yell, but I mean, they can't get up. Okay. I know. 
Yeah. Suck it up. Johnny, work his eye. You yeah. hear me? Over there and right. Work his eye. There. Oh, here it is. Stay on it, baby. Stay on. Keep that pressure. Here you go. A somewhat rejuvenated Johnny Edwards in round six. Nice right hand lead that worked because Rojas was starting his own left hand. But how much was on that shot? Well, I tell you, it was the best punch Edwards has landed in about four rounds, so we're going to give him credit for it. Are you going to give him the round, Steve? I gave him the round. I didn't see a lot of offense from Rojas that round. That would be the first for Edwards unofficially on Steve Farhood's scorecard. Rojas has swelling and, and bleeding under the left eye. Won't be a problem, it looks, unless uh, Edwards is able to hammer it, hammer that right hand home as his corner ideally wants him to do. Realistically, he hasn't thrown enough and landed enough clean shots. Quick, quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, both of them, come on, come on. Come on. Edwards plowing quick, forward. Quick. And again, Steve, you're right. You know, this is the seventh of tenth, ten rounds, and again, the easy class in the fight quick. is step, Rojas. You really want to see him step it up. You want to see a little bit more. I do. And there's that left hand. No knockdown. It was a throwdown, they say, or off balance. And he cuffed him with the left hand. That's Rojas doing the holding. That's the elbows there. Johnny Edwards a little. Chippy with that left elbow. Oh, and a big punch from Edwards, and it's Rojas Wait, holding on again. I just don't like what I see from Rojas. No, no, he's not finishing the show well. We're, we're only in round uh, seven. It's not as if the fight's about to end, but that was the best punch I think Edwards has landed this fight. Wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. A left hand from Rojas. Edwards now gets his hands up as he wrestles his way inside. Rojas went eight rounds his last and time out. The only time, right? Yeah, first time he ever went eight last time, and I'll tell you, subtle signs of fatigue here. Certainly yeah. not as much pop on his punch right now. Well, you know who's got a resurgence here? It looks like is Edwards. There, he launched himself, and again, trying on that third shot, connected with a left hook to the jaw of Rojas. So Edwards making this one respectable, perhaps winning the sixth round and the seventh as well. Still 35 seconds to go in the seventh. Rojas needing to do a little bit more. There he tries some infighting. Punch out now, come on, punch out, let his arm go. Punch out of there, Jordan. Quick! Rick, look at him, he's holding, look at him. A lot more of the holding now, Nick, initiated by Rojas. That's clear. Quick, 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 come on, come on, let's go. And there you see it. A tough little guy, Johnny Edwards. Yo, Suave, Suave, just take a time. He's coming to you, so you step back, point your body here, right up a cut, and put the left foot behind it. He's coming to you, you gotta chain it up, okay? Put some boss deep on his face. Action from round seven. Johnny Edwards still in this fight. I'm not sure how. Now that's a push, a shot to the back of the back, to the back of the neck there. Watch Edwards' right hand flush with Rojas backing up. Rojas' is hands down there. That's one of the reasons I said Rojas showing signs of fatigue. Right, and that's why I gave that round to Johnny Edwards. How do you have it, Steve? Well, it was a shutout for five rounds, but I've given Edwards a six and seven. So I have uh, Rojas up 68-65. Johnny Edwards full of fight here. The upset of the night in our main event. 
He's unbeaten, but absolutely untested. But the good news is he went 12. He was dropped in the 12th round his last fight, kid, but won that fight convincingly go, 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 over a former go. title contender, Angel Chacon. So that's the good news. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Edwards, the fact that he's a Marine too, and his stamina shouldn't be questioned as long as he stayed in the gym. Oh, right hand from Rojas there, but nothing behind it. He tries to sweep with the left hook, followed by a right cross. I said earlier, Nick, one of the things I really like about Rojas is his exuberance, his useful exuberance, and his passion for fighting. But, you know, he's a little tired now, and he has to show that exuberance. Come on. Well, Steve, you mentioned behind the numbers about Chris Small and how he erased him and how nobody does that. That was earlier, and that was a year ago. So he's looked good in spots in terms of power, but at times tonight, just seems to have lost his momentum and maybe a little bit of focus. But credit the toughness of Johnny Edwards, not the skill. He's able to hang around. And in each of the last two or three rounds, in the second half of the round, Ooh. a lot less power on Rojas's shot. I agree. And I have, to, I have to question that power a little yeah. bit. I don't know what it's tied to. It shouldn't be fatigue. He's really been able to control the flow of action and blunt this guy's rushes, so it's not as if he's been in this furious fight start to finish every round. Because we thought Edwards' only shot would be to fight him three minutes every round, and he hasn't really done that. Edwards back it up for the first time in quite a while. He got hit and going southpaw, big shot. So that may have taken something out of him. He's southpaw for the first time in this fight. I think he's in a little bit of trouble. Yes. Swelling under the left eye of uh, Johnny Edwards. Now he's inside. He's not punching at all. And from the southpaw stance, he doesn't look comfortable. So no offense from Edwards. And see if Rojas can hop on him. There's a left hook, and he gets hit in return with a counter. Rojas fires that lead right. Both guys. A little bit tired, perhaps. Rojas seems to have his legs under him just fine. A couple of months ago, 2007, what he did was he identified the champions in each division 10 years ago, five years ago, and today. And then he projected five years from now who will be the champ. Well, you see, at lightweight, the guy he picks to be the dominant fighter five years from now, Ilio Rojas, just as uh, Bill Detloff had picked Juan Manuel Lopez to be dominant at featherweight. We showed you that a couple of uh, show boxes ago. That would be amazing company to be in, wouldn't it? And it tells you that uh, at least one person, Detloff, expecting him to grow, and he's very comfortable, though, now, Rojas at featherweight. But uh, he's young at 24. Do you see him perhaps going up to weight divisions? I'd say two maximum. Well, Rojas with a comeback round there in the eighth, clearly. And he is hopping and raring to go, and we'll see if Edwards had a little bit beaten out of him in that eighth round. Okay, Rojas never been beyond eight. He is now, but he looks very much in control again. A lot more boxing, a lot more jabs. There's the right hand and the follow-up hook. Slapping with that hook. The right hand's a lot better punch for Rojas. It really is. Fight. A lot of slapping with that left hook. Steve, that's his punch, if you ask me. Yep. He's a one-two punch. And you see that Rojas, hey, virgin territory for him. And Johnny Edwards is, uh, that was his last fight that he won 12 rounds. Maybe that has speaks for uh, speaks volumes about why he's still able to come forward and still be around in round eight of this fight. Round nine, excuse me. Now Rojas plowing forward himself and that he did a little mugging of his own with that right hand and it's Edwards walking into a shot. Rojas able to measure him. Look, he's just able to wait for Edwards to lunge in. And there's a lead right as he doesn't wait. And cracks back with a, oh, another right hand down the middle. So he tries the left hook, which sets up that straight right hand, his best punch. Rojas full of fire now. 
Yeah, he's just slapping with the left hook. You're right, and his hand is low, but low, yeah. Edwards not able to capitalize at all. Being short, it makes it more difficult, but he's just not turning or cutting the corners real quickly to be in position. Now he's in position, and he tries to sweep with the right cross. But those are the critical junctures, I think, those points for Edwards when he's got position on Rojas or he's in position to land. He's not able to generate and unload. Well, Rojas makes it difficult. I've noticed tonight, Rojas is stepping to his side no, after he punches. I talked at the top about how Rojas jumps straight back. He is not doing that a lot. It's apparently a, a mistake that they've corrected. Good, good point. You, know, you really haven't seen that. Not at all, you're and, right. And he is stepping to the side after he punches quite that's, a bit. That's what prospects and progress is about. You see more slapping with the left hook. Yeah, the left hook. That comes from fatigue. You don't bend your left knee as much. You don't turn at the hip as much, so you don't get much leverage and throw the punch the way you should. We didn't really, to be overly, not to be overly critical, I didn't see a lethal left hook from Rojas even earlier in the fight. But. He's able to, again, set pace, range, and dominate. Well, this is part of the learning process, for sure, for Rojas. Oh, and uh, Edwards just got clipped on transition there as he went southpaw again. Just he's doing nothing offensively from that stand, so it's just a waste of time. But he's clearly a frustrated guy. Not sure what the referee is doing there. Uh, not to get, well. I think the referees under some pressure. They weren't happy the crowd, and I'm sure the commission wasn't, and he's trying to really take control and maybe over control this fight. This the last row. This is the last row. Last row. Box him. Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. Okay. Go out fighting. Fight, fight, fight. You stay on his ass. Johnny, you got to knock this, sit this guy down this round. Sit him down. You have to. I want the right hand, no, yo, 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 yo. All night, right hand, left foot, put back up your hands. Look, Both hands. knock this guy out right now. All right, let's okay. go. Fight. Yeah. Don't box. My piece, yeah, my piece. Got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Tenth and final. Elio Rojas, fresher and in control of this fight, but it's Johnny Edwards full of guts, letting it go here. He's really coming forward, soaking up shots on the way in. He's just got to punch his way in. What can you really change at this point? He's just trying to close with a burst of intensity, and we'll see if he can do it for three minutes here in the tenth round. The only burst of intensity so far has been by Rojas. I like the fact that he's responding in the 10th round here with a lot of energy, fast pace. That's the exuberance I was talking about. He's got it. That's exactly what I'd want to see from a young fighter who's going 10 for the first time. Pressured off the fight, perhaps not effectively, but still pressured. Roughed up a little in spots. Good learning fight. Yeah, it really is. And the fact that I think he clearly lost a couple of rounds, as you did, Steve, and that's good. You can't win it all. You can't win them all, and you can't knock everybody out. But oddly enough, he had Walker, he had uh, Edwards in trouble in the first. And the right hand has clearly been his definitive punch. And he's, he continually tries to lead with it, so. At times working off the jab, at times just that straight right hand. Edwards continuing to move forward. Edwards turned around with that left. Edwards has reduced the running in at this point. Rojas is just trying to time that right hand. That's all he's trying to do right now. He 
you know, Nick, it's it's late to bring this up, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This is the hardest ring I've ever seen. That doesn't really give a puncher a chance to kind of dig his toes into the canvas and get added leverage. You can't get your feet into this canvas. It's, it is it's like a rock. It absolutely is. Good, you know, good for movers, not good for punchers. It is a small ring, but it's all academic now. As we close it out here, our main event, two unbeaten featherweights, and soon there will clearly be only one. That man will be Elio Rojas. And the crowd satisfied enough. Rojas clearly dominating this fight. Johnny Edwards never stopped trying or believing, and I thought in this case that he could pull it out, but just didn't have the talent, and Rojas clearly outclassed him. Tough little guy, John Edwards, tough little Marine. But if you don't turn that lack of height and reach into an advantage, boy, it sure is a huge disadvantage to overcome. Well, credit him with uh, shaking off being stunned in the first. And Rojas going 10 for the first time in his career. Dominating performance. He knows it. The crowd knows it. Johnny Edwards finishes on his feet. The weapon of choice in this fight for Elio Rojas was his right hand. He almost always started it with a left, either a hook or a jab. Clearly blinded Edwards with those shots. Those are crisp right hands. He lost, Rojas lost a lot of the oomph in his shots later in the fight. But the right hand was always accurate. You have to like the way he throws it because he throws it very straight and crisp. And he punches through his opponent. Yeah, hey, I thought I would have thought at That's some point in the second happen. half of this fight he would have gotten rid of Johnny Edwards. He didn't give Edwards credit for that. And Rojas, uh, he lost a lot of power in the second half of the fight. And the thing he didn't do, though, is get ahead of himself. He played it safe. He still boxed. He listened to his corner. And you can't be overcritical about that. Well, just the suspense will be in how many rounds he lost, if any. But let's go up to Jim Gulliford and make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, now go to the judge's scorecard. Judge Gary Merritt scores about 100 to 90. Judge Bill Page scores about 100 to 90 as well. Judge Nathan Palmer also sees this about 100 to 90. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by unanimous decision, fighting out of the red corner, Elio, the kid, Rojas. Well, we were wrong there. Rojas may have never lost a round himself as a pro because all three judges saw it a clean sweep for Elio Rojas. So, with that kind of stuff in mind, Steve, the fact that he didn't lose a round on any card, let's nitpick this guy a little bit because, as I said at the top, for what it's worth, some people already, and his own people said he's at least three, four fights away from even fighting a contender. As we look at the winner and put it in context, who did he beat and how good did he look doing? Well, if anything, this fight emphasizes the fact that Rojas is a top prospect and not yet a contender. Will he become a contender? Well, you know, we talk about can't miss. Nobody's can't miss. Uh, he looked good in some ways. I thought he got tired. And I thought, to be honest, uh, I thought he probably should have gotten rid of Johnny Edwards. Go figure that Rojas takes out Tiger Smalls, who's tough with everybody, in one round. And this guy, Edwards, who's been down against three different guys, stayed up the whole fight. Uh, hard to figure.